Agile Manifesto and Principles. In February 2001, 17 software development practitioners who named themselves the Agile Alliance gathered at a resort in Utah. They came up with Agile Manifesto, which is a brief document built on four values and 12 principles for Agile software development. It is this manifesto that is the foundation of modern day Agile software development. The values start by saying, we are uncovering better ways of developing software by doing it and helping others do it. Through this work, we have come to value. The first value says, individuals and interactions over process and tools. Let me put it this way, how important is the process and tools for you when your team is not able to communicate? It may be due to a conflict or maybe due to lack of rapport, but how good is a perfectly working process and tool in this situation? It is not to say that process and tools are not necessary, but it comes secondary in priority. After all, process without efficiency is frustrating. The team which has good communication and rapport can get this done more efficiently anyways. Always remember, it is people who are getting the work done. The second value says, working software or comprehensive documentation. Traditional product development process often required extensive documentation. But isn't getting working software into the hands of the customer of top priority? This only means that documentation is a good thing, but it should not be a bottleneck. I have been in many situations where a release was being delayed even though the code was not ready to deploy, but the technical documentation formalities was still in progress. After all, what good is ample documentation without working software around? The next value says, customer collaboration over contract negotiation. A contract is important, but is no substitute for working closely with customers to discover what they need. Under the Agile philosophy, customer collaboration begins early in the development process and happens frequently throughout. Traditional product-centric process allowed contracts to dictate what was delivered in the end. This led a lot of room for mismatched expectations. This culture of close collaboration with real customers helps product people ensure they are delivering effective, useful solutions to customers. The next value says responding to change over following a plan. This has more to do with mindset than anything else. The Agile methodology lets a product team adjust its priorities and plans whenever doing so makes strategic sense. These teams do not get stuck in an outdated plan simply because they have committed to seeing it through. Remember, responding to a change does not mean accepting the change. But rejecting a change right away just because it is not the part of the plan is a Stone Age product development mindset and does not fit into modern day business scenarios. The values conclude by saying, that is, while there is value in the items on the right, we value the items on the left more. Agile Principles Here are the 12 principles. Our highest priority is to satisfy the customer through early and continuous delivery of valuable software. The idea here is to release early in the timeline rather than wait till the end of lengthy release cycle and do that continuously in short intervals. Welcome changing requirements even late in development. Agile processes harness change for the customer's competitive advantage. Now, by allowing changes late in development, we are increasing the chances of the software being relevant and competitive in the market. Deliver working software frequently, from a couple of weeks to a couple of months, with a preference to the shorter time scale. The more frequent your releases are and shorter the iterations, that means that you get extensive feedback of your product in market in short periods of time rather than wait for eons. This again gives you a competitive advantage. Business people and developers must work together daily throughout the project. Now, often in the traditional method, the developers are in the dark, which leads to a communication gap. This further leads to an attitude of being rigid to changes when the business pushes for them. Frequent exposure to business happenings keeps the developers up to date with information and they understand the context behind these changes. Built projects around motivated individuals give them the environment and support they need and trust them to get the job done. The primary mission of the management in Agile is to remove any trust deficit in the team. More about this when we talk about Scrum. This way, 
team members can openly communicate and the commitments become more realistic. The most efficient and effective method of conveying information to and within a development team is face-to-face -face conversation. Every gesture and facial expression that you give while communicating matters. Let me give you some statistics. Remote meetings generate an average 10.43 ideas, while in-person meetings generate an average of 13.36. For every dollar companies invest in travel, they receive $12.5 in value. The average company would lose 17% of its profits if it eliminated business travel. Since it is obvious, at every available opportunity, try and get the meeting in person. Working software is the primary measure of progress. We spoke about priority of working software or extensive documentation. Let's see some scenarios. Designing and releasing minimum viable features rather than fully developed feature sets means thinking first and foremost about the smallest things we can ship to start getting customer feedback and validate as we continue to build better software. A fail fast mentality means moving forward even in times of uncertainty and testing ideas rapidly. Fail fast, fail early. Ship software often. A useful product now is better than a perfect one later. Agile process promotes sustainable development. The sponsors, developers and users should be able to maintain a constant pace indefinitely. What they are trying to say here is to keep the expectation realistic. The planning that you make before every iteration becomes crucial. Team should try not to overcome it. Protecting the team from deviations from the goal during the iteration becomes important. Feedback must be two-way between the developers and the business. Continuous attention to technical excellence and good design enhances agility. The goal is to keep the work simple and not to over-engineer. This would mean that the team is cognizant of technical debt. Simplicity, the art of maximizing the amount of work not done, is essential. Simple design, simple approach means greater flexibility for future changes. This doesn't mean that we leave room for refactoring for future. This also means that the complexity of work taken by the team Iteration after iteration must be cumulative, even slope, and not a jerky road. The best architectures, requirements, and designs emerge from self-organizing teams. In Agile, decisions are made as a team unlike traditional pyramidal models. Agile has self-organized teams where everyone has a say in decisions. That way the risks are also minimized early on in the development lifecycle. A self-organizing team is a team where team members get to decide among themselves who does what. The team gets to work on problems and have some power to remove their own blockages. At regular intervals, the team reflects on how to become more effective, then tunes and adjusts its behavior accordingly. The team needs to constantly adjust towards a working style or agreement where they are maximum effective. Examples, retrospectives, which we will talk in detail when we discuss Scrum, and brainstorming, 